All right, video five, I, I don't know. I lost track, I think so. Uh, we're back to this kidney again. So there it is, it's our old friend, this kidney. But now I'm gonna tell you about the blood vessels. So here they are. They actually kind of make sense name-wise, many of them anyway. So we're, we're, you guys remember the renal artery from the blood vessel uh, section. So there it is, big red artery going in here. It branches into these segments called segmental arteries. And then as they go up here between these pyramids, they're called interlobar arteries. So interlobar, and I'm stressing that because there's a confusing name here in a second. So interlobar arteries become arc-shaped, you know, so they have a kind of an arc to them. These are arcuate arteries. Now these little guys that are radiating out here into the cortex, I learned as cortical radiate arteries, which is a great name. However, your lab book has interlobular, and I've seen this word you know, a bunch of times, so it, this is another name for it. Interlobular arteries, it's hard to say. Interlobar are here, interlobular are here. Then if you look really close, you can see these little branches from them. And we saw this in that previous model. Those are the afferent arterioles. So they are afferent arterioles. They're going to these little, uh, you know, Bowman's capsules here. They're going to the corpuscle. W once they enter the corpuscle, they become a ball of capillaries, right? A ball of capillaries called the glomerulus. And then we've seen the peritubular capillaries and the vasa recta as well. Those are uh, interfacing with the um, with the uh, with the uh, nephron. Sorry. Now, one thing we didn't talk about was what happens to the blood that goes into the glomerulus, but doesn't get filtered out. So the blood that remains in these uh, capillaries up here of the glomerulus exit right back out through that opening in a vein called the efferent vein. So afferent goes into the glomerulus and all that stuff I talked about before. Efferent leaves the glomerulus. So this is an efferent vein. Then we've got interlobular veins again, which are going down here. Their blood flow is going this way. Or you could call them cortical radiate veins, whichever. Uh, you get here to an arcuate vein. So there's that arc shape again. Arcuate vein, then back down to the interlobar veins. and I've seen it in a lot of sources where they'll actually go straight from interlobar vein to renal vein. But really, these are segmental veins. So you'd go interlobar vein, segmental vein, renal vein, and out. Where do you go next? Oh, you can't answer me. Uh, you go to the inferior vena cava at that point. And 